director of DSC. The essence of filing the contempt proceedings is as Nigerians, every Nigerian ha, do have the right to enforce the judgment of courts. So, as Nigerians, and not only as Nigerians, but as lawyers, we are complaining against disobedience of another of court by someone who is even saddled with the responsibility to ensure that the order of court is obeyed. And as well known, in fact, as my left friend said, I have a matter, a, a client of mine, this court gave, the, uh, gave my, a client of mine, released a, cl a client of mine on bail, all conditionally. But that, that client of mine has been in DSS detention for more than one year. We are saying enough is enough. The director of DSSS wants to say enough is enough. We have come to file from 48 against him. We have commenced content proceedings against him for deceiving, disobeying court orders. Nigeria is not a banana republic. We have had several directors of uh, DSSS. He is not the first one and he is not going to be the last one. So we are filing it and we are asking that now that it is obvious that he has a personal issue to, to settle with uh, MFL, he should go and sort it out. He should not use Nigeria. He should not use any any sign, any uh, purported uh, offense of uh, terrorism to sort whatever problem he had with uh, MFL. Just like as I said, um, uh, Senator Ahmed de Bola Tinibu uh, uh, was one of those that fought for this uh, democracy through Nadeko. Now that he is um, uh, the president, we want to call upon him as a matter of urgency. He should sack um, uh, the director uh, DSSS for embarrassing the entire world, for embarrassing Nigeria. We joined forces together with the world to call on the president to make sure that the DSS uh, the DSF uh, the, uh, the director and um, is removed as soon as possible. In fact, tomorrow is too late. It is very, very important. That is the point that we are laboring to make. We are not here to represent MFLA. We are not here to represent any particular person. It's not only him. MFLA is not the only person suffering this, this uh, passing through this agony. Every Nigerian is a victim of this circumstance. And what makes it worrisome is the fact that a ridiculous charge a ridiculous charge is being preferred against the person of a method. A ridiculous. This is not what Nigerians were expecting. For years, council representing the MFLA. I think that's that. All right. Okay.